I remember with you, I would go to skiing, cycling, climbing. I've always been very active at the shower. So how did you do teaching the deaf shower how to do the active? You were obviously very visual, and you could see people skiing. You picked it up from, from looking at them rather than being told how to do something. It was fun. It was, yeah. With Dad, our conversation had always been spoken, and I literally watched his stairs. Do you remember the day when you found out I was dead? Yeah. Yes, it was quite uh, upsetting, I suppose, because I had no concept of deafness at that point. Was what it... was your idea of deaf people at that time? Well, it was a, a, a disability. My concept of deafness was... Uh, like most hearing people, it, it, there's uh, something fundamentally missing. So, did anyone give you advice on communication, how to communicate with me? We were discouraged from learning sign language because it wouldn't uh, encourage your speech. And um, did you believe that advice? We had no reason not to believe it at that point. Making those decisions was very difficult because we had no help, really over what's the best for a deaf child would have to just muddle through, I suppose. If I offered you to cure me, would you take it? Yes. And yeah. um, why would you do... Why would you... I... Uh, because at the time it seemed like there was something wrong with you. Yeah. So I would have given anything to have fixed that, but that would have been a mistake and you wouldn't be who you are today. But I would have taken that option at that point. Most hearing parents, I would think, would like hearing children. Of course it would. No. Deafness isn't the disability that I imagined it was. And you showed to me that you could do pretty much anything. It's difficult hearing how my dad wished I was picked when I was a child. But given the advice that he had at the time, I'm not proud. I'm proud of who I am, and I don't know what I'd be like if I wasn't deaf.